if you are new here, welcome here in this channel. We talk about relaxed tech, the integrity, protective styling, and so much more concerning the hair topic in general. So, if you know you're interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing to join the family. So, in today's video, I'm back with another detangling routine. Honestly speaking, it's been long. I detangled my hair last. I'm even amazed at how I was able to keep my hair this way without taking down my bun and restyling it i have been able to maintain my hair this way for the past i think two weeks if i'm not mistaken by just using my small tooth comb to refresh my edges and lay down my hair so i have literally not done anything to my hair for the past two weeks outside refreshing with my small tooth comb so today i decided to come and show you guys another detangling routine since i promise you guys i'm gonna try and push out one more detangling routine before my next relaxer day so currently as of today i am 11 weeks post relaxer i know i told you guys i was going to relax my hair at 12 weeks post relaxer meaning i'm supposed to relax my hair next week fingers crossed i do that and i'm definitely going to show you guys that routine because like i said it's my first corrective relaxer routine hopefully everything comes out well so yeah let's just get started this is my hair at 11 weeks post relaxer i think this is the longest i have gone to settle my hair journey this is the longest I have gone post relaxer. Like we are putting my hair in a long term protective style. Prior to this, the longest I've gone in a bun, I think was seven weeks or two months. I don't think there was a time I have carried my hair like this in a bun for three months straight between two relaxer routines. So this is a first and I am so amazed that even after eight years in my hair journey, there are things I'm discovering every day about my hair because prior to now, if someone told me that I'll be able to keep my hair in a bun for three months without my hair being a tangled mess, I would have doubted that. But now that I have done it, I can see that it's actually possible. So I don't know, maybe next time I'm gonna try and go four months not sure it's just a thought that just popped into my head but not sure i'm gonna do that so let us go on with today's routine as usual i'm gonna be using my heat protectant as my moisturizer if you've not seen the product before this is it is the perfective mega root smoother polisher high shine serum since i relaxed my hair i have not moisturized and sealed my hair with any other product apart from this heat protectant and i remember telling you guys in one of my previous videos that i think this heat protectant was actually making my scalp itchy but i think for the past few weeks the itchy has kind of reduced i didn't do anything i didn't clean my scalp i didn't wash my hair i didn't do anything and the itching reduced i don't know maybe because i've not used this since my last detangling routine i'm not sure but hopefully it stays that way because you're it's not easy having to deal with an itchy scalp so like i said this is how my hair is looking like right now so i'm just gonna take it out of the bone and we'll go ahead to the tangle like i said i'm gonna be using this as my moisturizer and then i'm gonna be using my hair brush it's definitely time for me to change this hairbrush and I think I'm going to do that during my next relaxer routine. And another thing I actually have to get is a satin band. Like I told you guys, for some reason, I can't find my satin band. And I have been using rubber bands, which is actually not healthy because it can actually lead to breakage. But I have been procrastinating getting satin bands, so I really have to get my arts together and get a satin band so this is how my hair is looking like in a ponytail i kind of like how it looks right now what do you guys think i'm actually tempted to leave it down like this <laughs> anyway let's just go on So this is how my hair is looking like. As you guys can see, it's actually still feels moisturized. Even though I have 
not used any moisturizing and sealing product apart from my heat protector. So I'm going to start by finger detangling as usual. My under processed and unprocessed hair is actually getting harder to manage as my relaxer stretch increases. Like the more I'm stretching this relaxer, the more I'm finding it difficult to manage the under processed and unprocessed parts of my hair. So I really, really have to do that corrective relaxer. So this is what I've gotten so far from finger detangling. So I'm just going to section my hair in two, then moisturize and brush through. So as usual, I'm starting from the ends and working my way up. So I'm going ahead to finger detangle some more. So I'm probably going to do a length check in this video even though I think my last length check was just 11 weeks ago but I just feel like doing a length check so I think I'm going to do that and show you guys where my hair is currently at uh, just a mini length check so if you want to see the real length check you can check out my previous video or wait for my next relaxer routine but i'm going to do a mini lane check in this video so just stay tuned for that i usually don't do lane checks in between my relaxer routines because at this point my roots are coily plus i have a bit of under processed and unprocessed hair so you may not actually get the true value compared to when i did my relaxer routine and I just finished flat ironing my hair, like everything was straight then, so we could actually see the real length. So I'm going to start detangling, starting from the roots and working my way up. Can you guys see that? Can you see how moisturized that looks? Even though I have not used any moisturizing product, just my heat protectant for the past 11 weeks. So I see you on my own process the bulging and feeling more dense than the rest part of my hair. Unprocessed and underprocessed. So guys, I think we are done. So like I said, I was gonna give you guys a mini length check, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. So this is how my ends are looking like at the moment. So 
this is how my hair is currently looking like from the front i'm just going to show you how it looks like from the back So guys that's it for my mini line check and for my detangling routine i hope you enjoyed this video if you watched it this far and you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you are new here and you aren't subscribed please consider subscribing to join the family guys i just remembered i have not showed you guys the amount of hair i lost from this detangling routine so let me just show you that before i give the outro so yeah this is the amount of hair i lost not much for about two weeks so yeah like i said if you watched it this far and enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you are new here are and subscribed please consider subscribing to join the family and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever i upload a new video so yeah guys that's it for today's video thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye